I'm Greg Grant and this is Cobweb Maths. This is testing, teaching, patterns, cluster number one. In short, a TTP. Teaching a maths topic is only one side of the equation. Retaining and remember what has been learned is the other side. The testing, teaching, pattern cluster uses an approach that reinforces by what, what has been learned by linking testing, teaching and patterns in a, new, in a unique way that is designed to make revision easy and effective. The TTP videos have been made so that they can be used more than once to anchor key concepts in the minds of the viewers. The first two videos, TTP1 and TPT TTP2 deal with the multiplication of numbers. The first one covers the two times, the three times, the four times and the five times table. The second video covers the six, seven, eight and nine times table. These two videos each have 32 questions. Students will need to keep viewing these videos until they can get every question right. To a to help students learn their tables, they should use a flip box and multiplication flip cards. You will find a video on this site that shows parents how to construct a cardboard flip box. A cardboard bo flip box is an awesome mathematical learning machine and it will also show them how to make flip cards. This video also shows you how to use the flip box and the flip cards. Students who know their tables are more confident and make better progress than students who don't know their tables. We're now going to do TP1. Uh, and here are some patterns that might help you. If you go 2 times 7, you just double 7 and you get 14. If you go 3 times 7 for the 3 times table, you just double and add one more. So you double 7, you get 14, you add 1 to 14 and you get oops the daisy a uh, mistake 21 I'll just correct that now that's 21 there and if you go 4 times 7 you just double twice so when you double 7 you get um, 14 and then you double 14 you double it again and you get 28 now when you're multiplying by 5 you Halve the number. So if you've got five times seven, you just half seven, and you get three and a half, and two fives are ten. So you've got three and a half tens, which is thirty-five, because half a ten is five. Um, so have a look at those for a, for a second. Now, in a minute, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to read out thirty-two questions. We'll have a break halfway through at about sixteen. Have a breather, and then we'll go through and do the other other 16 questions. Um, I will read the question out. There will be a gap where you can think or work out the answer. What I really want you to do is think of the answer just automatically because what I'm trying to do is if I say th 3 times 7 you just think 21 without working it out. So what we're trying to do is establish a relationship between the words. So 3 times 7 and you think 21. Right, but if you can't do that for a start then these things will help you. Alright, I hope you're ready. Here are the 32 questions. I'm going to have a break halfway through. Um, and I'll give you the number of the question, I'll give you the question, leave a space, and you need to think of the answer. You might have a bit pen and paper to maybe write it down if you want, but I really want you to uh, not do that. But it's up to you. Question number one. Two times three equals six. Question two. 2 times 7 equals 14. Question 3. 
3 times 4 equals 12. Question 4, 3 times 8 equals 24. Question 5, 4 times 2 equals 8. Question 6, 4 times 9 equals 36. Question 7, 5 times 2 equals 10. Question 8, 5 times 8 equals 40. Question 9, 2 times 4 equals 8. Question 10, 2 times 8 equals 16. Question 11, 3 times 3 equals 9. Question 12, 3 times 2 equals 6. Question 13, 4 times 5 equals 20. Question 14, 4 times 6 equals 24. Question 15, 5 times 3 equals 15. Question 16, 5 times 8 equals 40. All right, a little break now. Let's relax for a minute. All right, got to start again now. Question 17, 2 times 9 equals 18. Question 18, 2 times 5 equals 10. Question 19, 3 times 6 equals 18. Question 20, 3 times 5 equals 15. Question 21, 4 times 4 equals 16. Question 22, 4 times 7 equals 28. Question 23, 5 times 5 equals 25. Question 24, 5 times 9 equals 45. Question 25, 2 times 6 equals 12. Question 26, 2 times 2 equals 4. Question 27, 3 times 7 equals 21. 28, question 28, 3 times 9 equals 27. Question 29, 4 times 8 equals 32. Question 30, 4 times 3 equals 12. Question 31, 5 times 7 equals 35. The last one, question 32, 5 times 6 equals 30. And we're done.